Hi guys, uh, this is probably going to be the last video I'm doing this year and um, yeah, it's a video that I'm going to be showing you some of the albums that I bought last year that I enjoyed a lot and I wanted to share with you. Um, sort of a yearly, you know, end of year review kind of thing. Um, it's not, I, do, I don't want to name it best of 2014 because there's so many things that I haven't bought because of, you know, I don't, I'm not made out of money, so I cannot buy everything. I'm not a professional reviewer, so, you know, people don't send me stuff. And I don't have the time because, you know, it's like, you know, it's not my job. I have other things to do. So I haven't checked everything. On top of that, you know, there's a lot of things that don't necessarily interest me that much so for example i don't know i mean i haven't checked out what's happening in hip-hop because i'm not so inclined or i have no idea what's happening in jazz i mean modern jazz that is um you know uh, there's there's a lot of gaps this is just you know a small slice of what has been has become available uh in 2014 that i selected and from the things that I selected, what I really enjoyed and sort of stood out. So having, you know, all these caveats, I will show you 20 records. Uh, <clears throat> some um, new releases, some reissues uh, and some compilations as well. All these were released in 2014. I'm fairly sure about that. Um, and uh, yeah, um, you yeah. know might be inspired to check out some of these things uh, so yes um, first up a band that I discovered completely by accident the Alalas and Worship the Sun um, my I, I got both of their albums they had one release in 2013 and one release is, the other release is this one which is 2014 um, excellent uh, sort of um, revivalist that's how they're branded revivalist psychedelia from the 60s uh, beautiful sound I don't think that it will make a lot of year-end uh, lists um, I don't think that it made such a big splash um, their sound is a little bit you know um, niche if you like but I enjoyed this thoroughly and I highly recommend that you check it out if you like this sort of sound uh, following on with a uh, reissue uh, from uh, Superior Viaduct, uh, Brigitte Fontaine and Areski and uh, Coma La Radio. And uh, yeah, this is uh, Brigitte Fontaine with uh, the Art Ensemble of Chicago. And this is a killer, killer, killer album. Highly, highly, highly recommended. Do check it out. You know, it's just absolute classic. It came out in 1970, I think. If I'm in 1970, yeah, something, 71 maybe, I don't know. Next up, uh, an Italian band, another issue uh, from Black Sweat Records, uh, Futuro Antico, and uh, Dai Primitivi all'Electronica, uh, and this came out in, 19, in the 1980s. Uh, Futuro Antico is a spin-off band from uh, Actuala, which is like legendary kind of... Uh, 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 ethnic psychedel psychedelic um, band from from the 70s this came out in 1980 and this is equally good um, yeah I bought this first and then it prompted me to get uh, the actual records there's one more which is unreleased tracks and it's equally good but this is like you know the the classic album if you like from these guys highly highly recommended ethnic, uh, droney, psychedelic music, just brilliant. Staying in Italy, uh, um, an album that is considered by many a um, uh, grail and it's extremely expensive to get an original. It hasn't been reissued to my knowledge on vinyl since it was first released in the 70s and um, it's uh, the group with feedback. This is Ennio Morricone's band playing uh, a sort of um, kraut jazz thing. Yeah, just absolute classic. 
again, I mean, I, I don't want to say highly recommended because all these are things that I've enjoyed a lot, but yeah, just absolute classic. Another album that will not make a lot of uh, the year-end uh, releases and um, and I just checked, it came out in 2013 but I think I bought it in 2014 so I'll, um, I'll show it anyway because yeah, whatever, doesn't matter. White Fence, another one of those bands that are uh, sort of considered to be um, revivalist and um, but I've, I've said that every time I show this al this album, I always say that their albums are... I don't find them that exciting because they're a little bit uh, sleepy, dopey. <laughs> Here there's a, it's, it's a live recording and it's just killer, killer stuff. Highly, highly recommended. So, yeah. I've already shown one record that is not from 2014 and I just realized it. But I'm not stopping. I'm just going ahead. Uh, next one, definitely from 2014 and very recent release, uh, Buddha's Band, uh, Burnt Offering, uh, Buddha's Band uh, are, have been making albums for what now, five, six years maybe, I don't know, uh, they have at least three other releases, um, and here they are, and uh, they sort of evolve their sound, um, adding doom elements, that's what they say. I don't see that personally. Um, this is an excellent soundtrack to a Tarantino, uh, you know, a Tarantino film that hasn't been created yet. This does give you the kind of uh, sound that um, they have. Yeah, psychedelic rock and black exploitation <coughs> era soul turned into a raging beast. That's the, what the hype sticker says. It reminds me of uh, Zam Rock. Uh, Chris uh, for 127 Basket actually wrote what, that in one of his comments and I was like yes you're absolutely right that's that's what I needed to say about this album and yeah highly highly recommended I just said it again sorry apologies I'll try not to do it again another recent uh, re uh, release uh, UK band this time Psychedelic um, their output is really good and very consistent the like hookworms the hum uh, this is which label is it weird oh, weird world yeah this is just a regular kind of release uh, there is one with a cutout as well uh, came out mm, October maybe um, yeah fantastic stuff check these guys out psychedelic sort of yeah psychedelic yeah. that should be enough uh, a release that is going to feature on a lot of um, end of year uh, lists and requires no introduction uh, the swans and uh, be kind be kind yes be kind <laughs> what can you say about the swans I mean I don't know how they do it I don't know how they can make such uncompromising music and still get some so much you know uh, recognition for it it's just unbelievable amazing kudos to them uh, i could have shown any other of their releases i chose to to show a uh, split um, and the focus here is on these guys the cosmic dead this is a split with um, uh, mugstar and this is an excellent album excellent album but uh, the aim of showing this is not to show the split but more to talk about the cosmic dead because i got this on a, a gig that i went a couple of weeks ago and this is just this is really good if you get the chance go see them um yeah and buy their albums because they are fantastic they just tripping tripping just tripping oh speaking of that hmm I remember one album that I think came out this year and I, yeah, you know, last minute kind of thing. So, oh, this is from 2013 as well. Oh, bugger. I won't show it. <laughs> no. It is Laraji. So I had the option to either show this or show the 3LP set. I chose to 
to show this one, but you know, it's Laraji, it's the 3 LP set. It is sort of. Hang on. Can I reach it? Yes, I can. There you go. There you go. Laraji. So I did show it. Now the other one is going to bug me though because I just remember there's uh, there's one more which is rather excellent and I don't think I look at me I'm looking at my record collection that is an interesting video yes ah. The when was this released though? I will say 2014 just because. Um, yeah, so yeah, Black as Rainbow uh, Records. This is uh, the label and this is the Golden Cup. And the, the album name is called Vagabond. This is a um, special release, it's like 10, 15 copies or some something ridiculous like that but uh, you can get a different cover which is just a regular one and it is fantastic if if you like psychedelia check these guys out this is amazing <clears throat> going to Canada now these guys are I think they are French either French or Italian I'm not entirely sure but we're going to Canada with uh, white lung and this is uh, Deep Fantasy, uh, almost definitely 2014 release. Uh, yeah, and this is an amazing kind of uh, punk, uh, indie punk, I would say indie punk. Very, very good. I enjoyed that one a lot. Now, I could have shown their latest release, I'm showing this one because, just because. No explanation given. So, yeah, have a nice day with Death Consciousness. Um, comes with a booklet. This is from uh, 2010, I want to say, or uh, something, something, something along those lines 10, 11. It has been around for a while, but um, it's been out of print and they reissued it this year. And this is brilliant, kind of. Um, um, shoegaze kind of uh, post rock uh, ish uh, goth. That is the word that I was looking for. Yeah. Switching gears though, uh, significantly, because from goth and indie punk and whatnot, we're going to post metal. I guess this is what you could call this so one of my favorite releases from last year uh, the Ides of uh, Gemini um, old world a new wave I got the vinyl release I've shown the CD uh, but I got the vinyl release as well because because yeah excellent I don't know what to call it I don't want it, it sort of falls under metal but it's not really metal I would I would call it post metal but I don't know if that is correct either do check it out it's just really good atmospheric very uh, yeah it's, yeah very very good Ides of Gemini this is limited as well I don't know whether you know it's still available black vinyl there's a clear vinyl one which is yeah I don't know if you can find it anymore yeah, my favorites. Uh, I could have shown the album. I'm showing this one, Chopped Up Plus. One of the things that I didn't say when I showed this in my last video was that it also has three three tracks more than the original Chopped Up that came out as a um, compilation on Bandcamp. But yeah, I will say no more about this. Another easy one um, because it's very recent and but definitely worth putting in the top 
of uh, 2014, Cybertron with Cybertron, yay! No need for introduction, if you've been watching this channel or if you have been in the VC long enough, you probably have heard about this brand. Australian, <clears throat> from the 70s, synth, progressive, psychedelic, amazing, uh, Big Star 1000 recommendation, and yeah, spot on, as per usual. Music for Insomniacs by Matt Berry, I, again, one of the recent pickups. It's been out for quite a while and yeah, it's just brilliant as well. Uh, again, electronic, um, a bit library-ish. Um, it has so many elements and you know, it's, it's two tracks, one for each side, but there are changes. It, it doesn't go, it doesn't have one it's not one directional it has a lot of changes within that uh one side it's probably more than one song just meshed into one but yeah highly recommended again i said it i don't want to say that highly recommended these are all highly recommended because they're bloody good they are um <clears throat> Ty Siegel, I don't have anything else from Ty Siegel, it's unbelievable, I don't know how this has happened. I've been seeing him, uh, all the uh, all, uh, all the, all, all the I killed the name probably, he's, he's involved in that, uh, and uh, yeah, I, I picked up his latest and this is bloody good, excellent stuff. Again, you know, that kind of 60s throwback sound, garagey, psychedelic, whatnot. If you if you enjoy this kind of thing, do check this one out. Manipulator by Ty Sigo. Uh, really good. I need to pick up more stuff from him. But it just hasn't happened. And if there is an album that deserves, like, the best of the year, and, you know, if all of these had, you know, there was a numbering anyway... This would probably be number one, probably be number one, and it's this one, uh, Entropicalia uh, by the Sound Carriers, uh, yeah, just, what can I say, um, broadcast, mixed with Brazilian sounds, mixed with um, Stereo Lab, mixed with yeah, just put all these things in the blender and something good comes out and this is what comes out. Yeah, uh, from what I hear it's sold out. Um, sorry guys, but yeah, this is just brilliant. I, I, I really hope that they reach it and you can, you can get it. Get the CD, I don't know. I mean, you know, it's, it's fine. Uh, this one, I'm not sure if it is 2014. But I'll show it anyway because I really enjoyed it. Warfare in Strangers, a uh, compilation from uh, Numero Group uh, with uh, hard rock and proto heavy metal bands from the US. I guess that they just did like a couple of singles and maybe an album here and there. This is so enjoyable. Really, really good stuff. Excellent. Do check it out if you're into hard rock and sort of that kind of proto metal kind of sound. And finally, a bit of jazz because, because, Spiritual Jazz 5, fifth in the series, as the name suggests, and, yeah, potent as, a, you know, as ever, really. Um, yeah, fantastic music, things that you cannot really get easily, and, um, yeah, just, just that. So, these are the records that I enjoyed the most uh, in 2014. Um, you know, uh, I potentially could have forgotten something. Actually, did forget something. I uh, picked it out of the shelves. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, you might think of uh, something else that is that might be really interesting. There's probably more things that are interesting. I mean, I'm looking at the Sleater Kini uh, box set, which is fantastic, but can you say that this is one of the best of 2014? Um, because it's like six records, right? So it's, you know, career spanning, so I don't know. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, so that was my um, sort of 
highlights of 2014 uh, thing. You know, like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, subscribe if you know this is the kind of thing that you're interested in and you know you want to get inspired. Um, stay subscribed. You know, that's another option. There's always that. Um, you know, and uh, yeah, Merry Christmas. Um, if I don't make another video because I'm gonna be going home, so I might do a uh, you know collection back home uh, video might i don't know if i have time and you know and um <clears throat> happy new year um and i will be seeing you shortly cheers